Hi, this is Misha at CitizenServe. Today, I'm going to show you how to add payments to a project, an application, or to a contact, and we'll discuss payment allocations. In our first scenario, we'll take a check for $6,100 to apply towards two related permits on the same project file. In the memo field, they've written the project number, so let's use the quick search menu to pull up the file. From the File Option menu, I'll select Add Payment, and the Add Payment window appears. We see two permits have an outstanding balance that add up to $6,100. Let's add the payment's detail at the top of the form. I'll set the type to Check. I'll enter the check number in the Reference field. I'll select Sam from the Received From field. Note I can add a new contact or just add the name of a payer in these fields. Here are your options when entering the payment amount. I can apply the payment to any permit by entering the amount in the Payment Amount field next to the permit to be paid. Save to apply this payment. Or in the Payment Amount field in the blue header area, I can enter the full amount of the check, in this case 6100, and when I tab, the payment is applied to each permit from the top down. Now I'll really save. And we've just applied a check across multiple permits on a project. In our second scenario, a contractor arrives at the counter with a credit card to pay for a permit at 990 Stratford. I'll type 990 Stratford into the Quick Search menu, and I'll pick the building permit. We'll swipe the card through the card reader on the counter, and then I'll log the payment on the permit. I'll pick the Add Payment slash Credit Card icon. The Add Payment icon also appears at the bottom of the file in the Payments header. From the Type drop-down, I'll select Credit Card, and in the reference, I'll note that this is an Amex. I'll select the payer in the Received From field, and I'll enter the payment amount. Now I'll save. And that's how you apply a payment to a permit or license application. Now let's apply a payment by a contact. In this scenario, Randy from Randy's Contracting Services wants to make a payment over the counter for multiple approved permits, and he wants us to tell him how much he owes. Let's search for Randy's contact record. Now, under Contact Options, let's expand the Add menu and select Payment. It may take your system a moment to load all of the files with balances due for this contact. Here we see three approved permits with the total balance due in this field. If Randy says he wants to pay for just two, you can type in the balance for each permit and the system will calculate the payment amount due. Then, Randy writes a check for that totaled amount. Now I'll enter the type and reference. I'll use the print receipt option to provide Randy with a receipt, which is the same as hitting the save button. And that's how you can pay multiple permits on a contact. Payment allocations are made automatically, but sometimes you'll want to adjust how the payments were applied. In this permit, an additional plan check fee was added to the project. And when the building permit fee was paid, the payment was automatically allocated to the additional plan check fee. Now, the contractor has brought us a final payment. So let's add the missing $180. Now view the allocations by clicking the Allocations button in the Payments table header. Here in the Allocation table, we see the most recent payment on top. It's been applied to the building permit fee. The payment from February 10th was supposed to be applied to the building permit fee, but because the additional plan check fee was unpaid, part of the payment was applied there as well. Let's update the allocation starting at the top, and we'll add the correct allocation amounts in the revised allocation column. Next to the incorrect building permit fee allocation of $180, I'll enter zero, and below that I'll allocate the $180 payment correctly to the additional plan check fee. The system detects the double allocation and helpfully highlights the duplicates in red. Under the next payment, I'll apply the full payment amount to the building permit fee, which automatically removes the duplicate allocation. Now I'll save and our payments have been allocated correctly to our fees. One tip with allocations is that you should add your fees first before you add payments, otherwise the payments won't be allocated. For more information or training on this or any other CitizenServe feature, please submit a support request and we're happy to help.
And this is how CitizenServe helps you track and allocate payments.